Hey, how you guys doing, viewers? I'm just here to make another update. It's been a while, but we've been getting a couple of questions from people asking how to calculate uh, gold percentage values to other alloys, uh, like 14 carat to 18 carat, and how to calculate to get the correct price. Um, so I'm going to show a couple of procedures for that techniques. Um, Anybody who saw my last couple of videos, I let you guys know it's good to have a nice travel case with all your jewelry testing equipment, a magnet, your acids. It's also good to keep a extra one handy just in case um, you don't have you know you have one in the office as well as at your in your car. So if you have a you know a customer on the run or something. All right. So basically, the key here is to know. how the acid affects each stone each um mark each streak of the gold so i'm going to make a couple of streaks here give me a second i'll show you guys and these are all marked 14 karat pieces so i'm going to show you how each one could look very different from the other even if they're all 14 karat and that's how you could tell what percentage of gold there is You'll get the hang of it once you do it more more than once. You'll see how higher quality or low quality gold stands out when you test it. I'm sorry if uh, it looks kind of choppy or sounds kind of funny. I'm not that good at making videos, but I'm trying my best. I want to help people out there who want to get uh, you know tips on buying and trading gold as a business so I just tested out all 14 karat jewelry pieces I'm gonna test out one fake one so you guys can see how fake things are not supposed to pass this test can't even leave a streak with it so there you go five streaks and five pieces of jewelry and how we're gonna show how each one can be very different from the other once I put this acid solution on there, let's see if I get a better angle here without the glare. Perfect. All right. That's before. So now I'm going to put the 14 karat solution on there. Remember, it should only fade a little, if, an, if at all, if it's 14 karat, truly. Okay, and you could, even, you could quickly see once I applied the 14 karat solution. The fake one instantly faded. You can see some of the smoke there, the fumes. Remember, this is poison. It's uh, kind of acidic, the nitric acid, so don't get any of the fumes. Don't inhale them. It could be very dangerous. Now you see the third one from the left is faded the most. The other three, which is which are all 14 care marked, um, seem to not have faded at all. So you can see how the third one, which would be this one right here and also it's easy to know which ones are gonna be lower quality because custom-made jewelry will never be what it's marked um, anything that's made custom you can't people don't are not gonna want to mess them up to check their their true heritage so they'll take their jewelers word for it but believe me out of all of my experience everything that I've had is less than 14k if it's marked and it's custom made so yeah um, now that's testing wise you can see how the rest even with the streak where the line where the acid is is not faded except for that one right there this one right there so um, yeah any questions feel free to comment me um, check in for my next video it's gonna explain more on the percentages I know I said I'd do that on this video, but um, this is more on how to see the streaks.